Well-known wildlife expert and photographer Ron McGill has appeared on television networks all over the world yep. to talk about animals in his distinct and animated style. He is very memorable, but today he does have a much more personal and serious message to give us. He was diagnosed with skin cancer, and as CBS 4's Natalia Zaya shows us, he wants to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes he did. You think there's no chance of coming across one of these in your neighborhood? Think again. You can count on wildlife expert and Zoo Miami spokesman Ron McGill for three things. Having some kind of wild creature in his arms or around his neck. The bottom line is we are going to have to live with pythons. Speaking excitedly about animals. So listen to those cheetahs just going beep, beep, beep. It's like the sound I remember when my kid first cried when he was born. And being outside in the sun. You know, I've worked outside most of my life. I've traveled around the world. I spend countless weeks on the equator in the Galapagos and Africa. All that time, Ron says he never wore a drop of sunscreen. I'm a Latin guy. My father's Cuban. My grandfather was a Colombian Indian. Dark hair, olive skin, always tan great. I'm not a candidate for cancer, skin cancer. Or so he thought. About two months ago, he felt a bump under his mustache. It didn't go away. It was there for several weeks. And then I started to mess with it, and then it started to bleed. And I said, you know, I told my wife, I need to get this checked out. He turned to Dr. Manuel Iriondo, who biopsied that bump and learned Ron had skin cancer. And you get a little sinking feeling in your heart. Mr. McGill came in with a basal cell carcinoma, which is a little small uh, uh, cancer of the upper lip. Once Ron learned the cancer was not the more dangerous melanoma and instead was mild and fairly common, he felt relief. But then he worried about the surgery to remove it. Ron has had this mustache for three and a half decades. It's kind of been a trademark of mine. I hate to say that, but it's just kind of been a trademark. My daughter even freaked out. She goes, Dad, I don't even know what you're going to look like without a mustache. I'm freaking out. Thankfully, Dr. Iriondo worked to remove Ron's cancer without shaving the stash. So we tried just carefully to cut. We had to cut a little bit of the hair, but not much. So he did well. And Dr. Iriondo does not believe the cancer will come back, but the scare has left a big impact on Ron. This has been a kick in my butt. The sunscreen is now on the counter with my razor and everything else. It's just part of the morning routine. And now, in addition to educating the public about our environment... Many people think when they see nests on top of utility poles like this one that they belong to ospreys or eagles. He's also sharing this warning. Don't be like me. Put on that sunscreen, especially here in South Florida. It could save your life. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. And we're glad he shared his lesson with us, and we're glad he's okay. We love us some Ron McGill.